Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. I want to use the M sized trinket tray mode from Modes and Shapes, and I want to pour some flowers and do the crackle effect in the background. So I'm starting with my resin. I already um, poured the clear resin into my mold, and I'm using the Biocast resin from Elechem. And here I mixed the white pigment drops into my resin and I put a little bit of the baby's breath from Laura's Art Corner into my white. And here are my resin inks. It's the Manila Green, it's a grey purple and the Shadow. So Manila Green and grey purple are from Etta Art, the Shadow is from Octopus. And um, octopus inks you can get in the US from Laura's Art Corner. So I'm now starting with my um, Manila Green. Then around the green I put some of the grey purple. And on top of the grey purple I place the shadow. There you see it. And then at the sides, I also start with the Manila Green on both sides. Just a drop. So I was a little bit hesitating, but just a drop. Then on top the grey purple and finally the shadow. Anyway, um, I received from Etta Art um, the Biocast resin and uh, it's a one-to-one -one resin and I'm very curious if I can achieve a sort of flower with it because it's the first time I'm using it. It's an eco-friendly resin and yeah, just wait and see. So I placed my resin inks and now I'm gonna start with my white. So I'm just going in spirals here. I'm just testing um, if my... Um, hole in my piping bag is big enough and I'm just going with the spiral and this is the easiest way to pour a flower. I always say this when I do my videos, um, this is really um, the very easiest way. You just need to make sure that your white is not too opaque. You also need to see that you don't snip your piping bag, uh, the hole in your piping bag too big and then you can just start on and like I said the biocast resin is a one to run resin so it's a thick resin and yeah I'm just curious if I get a sort of flower because when you just start with a completely new resin it's a matter of testing so there I'm just making a little bit more of my white at the outside and then I can just torch a little bit. Please always be careful using the torch not to burn your mold or your resin. And then I can just start drawing my flower. Yeah, there was something dripped into my resin. I just need to take care of it. I guess there was also a tiny air bubble in the side. So I got this sorted. And like I said, I can start designing my flowers. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pull my a dotting tool from the outside in and just watch me doing it.
that's my design practically done. And then I decided to pull the stick from the inside out. So I have a little bit more of a design of my flower. I'm wondering how much the flowers will be changing still. And I can also tell you it's very thin, my layer um, on the trinket tray. So I, I'm re really curious if there is going to be a sort of flower or not. But I just need to wait and see. But for now, I'm just designing my flower. By the way, the trinket tray mode is from Modes and Shapes. Like I said, um, the resin inks are from Etta Art and also from Octopus. And um, also my resin I received as a sample from Etta Art. So just check out my description box. There's a promo code. And for the US, like I said, for Octopus resin inks, um, just check out Laura's Art Corner. I link this into my description box as well. But you see, I'm here busy doing my design and I really had to take my time. So I'm sorry if the video takes a little bit long, but yeah, it takes however long it needs. And I start also to, to wonder, you know, where are my petals? Because it's so dark <laughs> on the surface. So, well... <laughs> But now the final swirl in the center for the big flower, a quick torch again. And I guess that's me sorted with my first layer. And then I'm going to take you down for a close up so you can see. And at that point, I sometimes wish resin would stop moving, but I think the biocast um, has a working time from 40 minutes so it was still moving a little bit as you can see in the next part when you can see um, how I'm doing my back layer but I love the blending of the colors and I'm very curious how um, yeah how the flowers are gonna be at the end So and this is the next day and you see it really moved. It all moved, but I cannot see any major blobs. So I'm quite happy about it. And then I mixed all my colors again, which I used for the flowers. So the Manila green, the gray purple and the shadow. And I'm just layering in the cup because I love this technique. I am really fascinated um, that you get such awesome crackle effect um, in this technique. So I'm just layering it and I'm making a dirty pour. You will see it in a second. I just let my resin spread. And then you have the different shades of colors and I really love it. So that's me almost done layering and now I'm going to pour my resin ink into the mold and I'm just trying to get it rather equally into the mold. That's why I'm going from left to right and look at the shades of the colors in the cup. And here is my pearl white. It's just you can take any pearl white mica you have to hand. So I'm pouring this in the same way into my mold. And as you can see at the sides, I overfilled. So you need to be careful um, with doing this and you can really see I overfilled. And I need to apologize, I didn't film the um, demolding, but this is the final result. So please apologize that I don't have the demolding on there, but I'm very happy with the pour. Even though the flowers are not so defined, but it's like they are melting with the crackle effect and I really love it. So with this, I love and leave you and thank you for watching. Take care, guys. Bye bye.